focus. There we go. Good morning, DDO stream Twitch viewers. This is your host for cooking with um, Cobalt this morning. Um, oh wait, no, wrong show. Um, DDO Wiki talk with T13 with your host Shoemaker. Um, we're not going to make any Cobalt stew this morning. Although I have thought about doing a show on that. You know, making some various DDO themed entrees or desserts. Um, so... <coughs> Good morning, Sarlona Sanak. I was a little bit tardy due to the holidays in sending out your prize, but I did get it out this morning for last week's show. Um, this week, we're going to be giving out a starter pack. Um, we're going to need 15 contributors, I think I said. No moderator restriction. Um, so, let's see here. Starter pack, 50 contributors. Let's get started. Let's put, get Titan in there. Let's put him in at number one. Increase his odds. I'll have to roll a one. Oh, wait. I said 50, not 50, right? Oops. <laughs> Let me reset that. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, Titan. I had to. Let's see here. Who did we have this morning? Our first viewer was Sarlona. And then we had Titan. And then we had MRF. Anybody else out there this morning? Let's see here. I don't see anybody up there in the list yet. <clears throat> um, so yeah, we got three people to start. That's a good start, I think. Let's um, make that go away. Alrighty, so. DDO Wiggy. Oh, I need like 100,000 turbine points to buy everything I want. So I don't blame him. 20,000 isn't enough. I agree. I concur, Titan. I concur. I need like 600 star autos boxes and all that good stuff. Hey, good morning, Gary. How is um, the chest treating you? All right, so the voting is closed for um, the poll here. Um, you can still get your stories in. So if you have stories to share, um, stories about me, how I've influenced your gameplay or whatever, since, you know, I think I'm the winner. Um, Which is going to be a really awesome prize. I do believe that it's supposed to be... Um, it's going to be a lifetime VIP. Which is an awesome thing in of itself. Well, of course your dad did Titan. Don't be silly. Um, so yeah, you can... <coughs> go there and add your story. A little bit chaotic this morning. There's the poll there, um, which is closed. Looks like my 14 was greater than even the All Editors 8. Um, if you want to add a story to this, go for it. Um, three pages worth.
Good morning, Intimix. Let's put Gary in here. 782. Let's get Intimix in the list. All right, I guess it's five out of 15. So it looks like there were 41, well, 42 posts altogether. Um, make some adjustments here. Sure, it was choking me a little bit. Um, so in order to track this, what I did is I actually made a little document in Notepad, which I don't have available. Oh, I don't even, I don't even know where I put it. <laughs> um, did I put it on the desktop? I didn't, I don't even know where I put it, but I had a text file that I was using that um, I used to keep track of it, so. Add myself in the drawing. No, I don't think so, Titan. I will add Daniela though, our 2015 Players Council member. You don't think we'll have 15 people there, Titan, to have enough for a drawing? <clears throat> We're already up to six. All right, so that's there. Um, I'll also note that your DDO um, hosted administrator, Ague, is doing a fourth a annual holiday giveaway. You still have today and tomorrow. Um, to get in there, you'll be giving away 2300 turbine point code. Simply post below your favorite holiday food and you'll be entered. <coughs> the winner will be chosen on at random on December 30th. He said he was going to attempt to stream the drawing and I offered to stream it for him. Um... Apparently, there's 409 posts so far, so get yours in there if you want a chance to win a 2300 turbine point code. Um, the thread number for that is 469527. So if you just go to any th any thread on the forums and you replace the, the, the number, and you replace all of this with just the number 469527, it will take you to this thread. Or you can just, you know... New posts, I guess. It's probably even in there on new posts. Let's see here. Yep, it's right in there at the top. LGS displacement. Yes, that's a thing. <coughs> Why do Veteran 1 and Veteran 2 do not work with TRs? Really? Um... I guess it's a legitimate question, but um, kind of be silly to do a TR and skip half of it. Help trouble recording video. I'm not sure what that's about. DDO stream, DDO wiki talk. I just updated that to add episode 13 from last week. How to make the game loading faster, DDO preload official. That's a very good thing. I've heard a lot of complaints of people that have had issues lately with being able to get in. <coughs> when they first load in, they get a red um, red icon down there and um, get kicked right out. So in order to resolve that, check out Wanessa's uh, DDL preload. Use version 2. No, it doesn't look like this. It's a little bit different. A couple examples there. <coughs> I 
It says you need at least two gigabytes for your physical memory, which means RAM. Good thing to have. You're second and last on Titan. What happened to the first one? Do I want to know? Players' council terms are nine months long, not one year. I don't even know if that's accurate. Technically, the term is a year, but by the time, in the amount of time it takes to go through the application process and get started and actually get comfortable, I felt like I only actually did like, had like three months worth of time where I actually was useful. Um, I think the terms are a little bit short. It takes a while to get, to get up and running. The dog ate it. Screen cracked in my pocket. Why did you put a tablet in your pocket? And how do you get such big pockets? I mean, aren't tablets like this big? <coughs> Quit sticking it in your pants, Titan. Security. Um, we repeat ourselves. Last year, we didn't begin selecting or even advertising the New Year's Players Console until very late. That is correct, correct, Krylar. We will continue until the until shortly after the new console is selected. Oh, I need to make a post on this. Daniela, you should make a post on this too. The thread is um, 469715. It's uh, Players Council terms are nine months long, not one year. Um, I personally plan on making a post saying that um, even, even when the, the Players Council term ends... You've created a relationship with the developers and with Cordovan, and you have multiple other methods of getting in touch with them. So even if you're not technically on a player's council, you can still interact with the developers, and you have that extra connection where they're more likely to listen to your feedback or to make use of your feedback, because not only are they more likely to do that, <laughs> Gary, um, not only are they more likely to respond to your feedback because you have that connection, but <clears throat> you're more likely to give valuable feedback to them because you understand what they're looking for. So being on the Players Council isn't really something that can be measured in how long your term is. It's more of a... You're on the council for a year, and you build this relationship with the developers, and then you understand what they're looking better, looking for for feedback better, and because you give better feedback, they're more likely to respond. So even if your term is up, you're still kind of influencing the game with your feedback. <coughs> so these types of threads really annoy me um, for that purpose, for that reason explicitly. Um, and actually, when I reply to this thread, I am just going to do a highlight of this section of the stream, and that's going to be, you know, my reply. And I, I hope that they understand it. And we've got Gary and Titan talking about seven inches. <laughs> Why me? All right, so. <clears throat> exactly. Um, so we got our. Grand prize poll. We got some 
edit count prizes. I still need to work on the script for these. Um, we'll see what happens. I don't know if if um, Cordovan will have time to get to. <laughs> I should say, I don't know how long it will take Cordovan to get through all of these. It may take you know months, depending on how many people there are. So, we got a couple other prize categories there, and I'm going to be working on filling out the winners for this all week, um, and then we'll do a show and we'll go over it again. So there's no reason to go over it too much here. <laughs> all right. So what happened today, this morning on the wiki? And since December 22nd, let's see here. Lots of update to legendary green steel stuff. Some template updates. A legend user talk techno, new a couple new people. Some legendary info for some of the mobs. To curse the sky stuff, the codex and the shroud, JJ made some changes to his common CSS and JSS, trimmed some stuff out, hmm, I might want to look at that, I wonder what he trimmed out, template talk forums, let's check that out. <coughs> Sheltering, Legendary Brazen Band, drops in both quests. I had to add that to it. Character Planner Tutorial. Yep, I did that for my Sunday stream. Um, Titan leaving me some messages on my talk page. Learning how to use talk pages, that's good. So I suppose I could go over that. Um... Some changes to sheltering insight and save based on some discussion on JJ's page. Some talk page <coughs> stalker stuff. So yeah, I copied some stuff over from um, some wik from Wikipedia. And um, I just raw copied it and got WP, which is the Wikipedia equivalent <coughs> of DDL Wiki. Um, and so I had to move them all from WP to DDL Wiki. And um, even I make mistakes, so that was a little bit of a oopsie. Um, not a big deal. Everything on Wikipedia is licensed under Creative Commons, which means it's free to share. And those are just redirects so that they wouldn't be protected anyways. Um, looks like Crew121 has been doing some categorization. Um... Item talk, uh, item description templates, yes. I want to discuss that. So, um, on wikis, um, we use talk pages to communicate with each other. Um, if you want to leave a message for somebody, you find that user. So, for example, user Titan 2014-19. <coughs> and if I wanted to leave Titan a message, I would go to his discussion page. Yes, I do make mistakes. What happened to your rogue mechanic videos? YouTube says it was deleted. 
Um, I'll have to look into that. I haven't had a chance to get into it yet. Um, I have them locally, so if YouTube says it was deleted, then I'll just have to re-upload it. Um, I will check on that, though. Yes, good morning, MayQuest. Let's do this. Let's see here. Nayquist? No, with an M. And that gets us halfway there to our 15 people needed to roll on a starter pack. So, on Titan's talk page here, you can see that he's got this thing up here, which is outdated. Um, needs to be updated, but that's another project that... <coughs> JJ is going to be working on in the near near future. Um, so if you want to leave a message for somebody on their talk page, you go to add topic on their user talk page. Um, we have a couple templates that we can use for talk pages. So you go, if you go here and you go to talk pages and forums, you can see that we have some stuff here. We have, if it's a forum, then you can use forum headers and then reference desk for game, help desk for wiki or village pump for technical. Um, I'm going to completely get rid of this section. Don't use it. Um, OD is for outdent. If um, multiple people have replied and it's like trailed off way over to the edge and you only get this little bitty section of text on the end. Um, it's fine, we could do that. Um, <clears throat> you only get a little bit of wedge of text, you can do an outdent to stretch it back out. Um, category user. So one of the cool things about this is you can go user, type in their username. You can put in a pipe and you can put in a short display text. Make sure that you always sign your post with four tilde's at the end so they know who it was and when it was posted. And then save page. <clears throat> and you get a little message here. It says, hello. And since I use the user template, it has Titan, which is a short version that I put in on the end, his con contributions. You'll see that message is solid black. It's not a link. That is because we are on his talk page. So it's a link to itself which means it's not going to show up. Apparently, Titan has an email address that he's entered into the wiki, so the email link will show up. If you don't have an email address, that link won't show up. Um, just popping in to say hi from DDO Stream on Twitch TV. Hope you have a great day and enjoy your little 7-inch tablet. Merry Christmas. Um, and then I signed with four tildes, which is DDO Stream, contribs, message, email, and a timestamp. So you can... Just go back and forth with the messages. Um, usually the best way to communicate is if somebody posts something on your talk page. I'm talking really fast. Um, to respond on your talk page. Um, and <laughs> instead of going back and forth between two talk pages, because that gets fragmented and broken and difficult to follow. So, yeah, we use talk pages. Um, and the other cool thing is when you leave a message on somebody's talk page, so give me one second to go on 
Technical 13 account and leave a message on User Talk DDO Stream and see if this still <coughs> still works, which it should. <coughs> and we can go back to the home page for a minute here. And I'm going to add a topic which you can't see because I'm on my other screen. This web page is not available. Why is it not available? It's a bug. Yeah, Amraf, that's a bug that I just haven't had time to go through and fix yet. I will get to it. It's on my to-do list of things to fix. All right, so I sent DDO stream a message from technical 13 and now when I navigate to another page hey I just got a notification that my university is closing at 10 a.m. today due to the snowstorm you will see that when you use talk pages and you leave a message on somebody's talk page if you leave it on their base talk page they will get a notification that they have a new message, which is a link to your talk page, from another user, and a link to show the last last change. Um, if you have multiple, it will say that you have mul um, new messages for multiple users, or something of that nature. Um, but every page that I visit, until I visit there, will tell me that I have a new message. It's called the Orange Bar of Doom. I have multiple text alerts set up to know when school closes. <clears throat> so every page I visit will tell me that I have a new message until I go check it out, until I visit my talk page. So that's why we use talk pages, because it gives a big orange bar of you have a notification, you have a message. And then if we go take a look at that, You'll see that the orange bar is gone. We can scroll down. It's just a notification that you, good sir or ma'am, are awesome. I, I love it when Shoemaker tells me I'm awesome. Um, <coughs> so, yeah. Um, I th let's see here. I think the reason that the double thing shows up is because the... Gadget for that is actually being called twice. Let me take a look at common.js real quick. Gadget edit tools. I believe that hmm, <coughs> if I was to go to my technical 13 who's an administrator and can edit that page, and I was to comment out the MediaWiki gadget edit tools thing, I believe if I do that, no, 
All right. So what I did is you can see it says import script. This right here is where it loads the edit tools. If I refresh that, you'll see that it's now green and it's got a couple slashes in front of it. Um, I believe that'll actually fix that issue. Some more morphine, huh, huh Gary? I'm not so much worried about you passing out. You can say some pretty funky things. Poor Titan was really confused the other night. Uh, let's see here. User talk DDO stream. You are having an interesting discussion. And no, it still has that. Oh, I know why. Um, I'm just going to leave that commented out for now. And I think it's just a caching thing. It takes a while to cache. Yeah, we know, Titan. We saw that. So you can see some of the cool things here. Um, to make this effect right here, I did big, and then I did small caps. So that made it bigger text, and then it made it all capitals, small caps. Um, you can see that the signature, when you do the four tilds, actually expands to that. It's a span class MW signature. Gives a whole signature span class email link, email technical 13, which is an email link for me. Um, that's what <coughs> the cascading style sheets used and the JavaScript, <coughs> JavaScript uses to hide that link if you don't have email set up. It's actually hidden by default by the cascading style sheets. And then if you do have email, it's turned back on by the JavaScript. Um, so what else do I have open for tabs here? Let's see here. Ah. So JJ's using Wicked again. He's also getting vote symbols. I'm not sure why he's using vote symbols. He should be using MW loader load instead of import script URI for up here, but that's okay. MW util add port link user username links my links should be a links to his own a page to his own links page. That's cool. Modify sidebar. Using some try, switch, case. Action equals add. He's got some funky stuff going on there. I don't know what the purpose is. Related changes, printable version. Oh. That's a really hard way to do it. And then add on load hook doesn't work anymore. You can just use much something much simpler nowadays, but it looks like you get rid of it altogether. Yes, we do get get wiki, wiki get link now. That's awesome. I'd forgotten that we got that with the latest update. All right, so cascading style sheet. <clears throat> just some... Hmm. I might have to make some modifications for that, so we can't do that. He shouldn't be able to see developer show and steward show stuff. I'll have to make some modifications for that. Somebody broke something around label perimeter showing up. Yep, that was me. I broke it. I broke the wiki. Do -do 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 -do. And when I did replace to replace um, square bracket with a fake square bracket. I don't know why it did the spaces thing. There's no spaces in there, so. Very strange. But anyway, JJ fixed it. Oh, I was missing some Well, no, I wasn't missing them. They were just in a different spot. 
I don't know, weird. And then we have this discussion here on item description templates. Yeah, C++ is a very good coding language for this type of thing. Why would you think that they would use something different? And actually, they don't use C++ so much as they do use other development tools that are based in C++. I guess the core, the core code itself is still C++, but they use mostly easy button tools to make it a little bit easier for them. Um, they're not coding in raw C++ <coughs> so much themselves. Um, I don't know how much I can actually share about that. Um, I mean, they use all kinds of things and we're just gonna leave it at that. Um, so item description templates. We have like false life and seeker and parrying and stunning and wizardry and all that stuff. We also have some ones that are combined like um, template misc effects and template damage and Template proof, um, maybe even template stat. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. I might turn that into a meta template and make some sub templates for it for each stat. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, but I'd like to dump template misc effects and other small sub templates like it in favor of each effect having its own template. Even if some of the code is redundant, it can go in meta templates. Um, the reason for this is that I'm planning on doing a master over, massive overhaul of our item namespace page template system. In order to fa facilitate a new JavaScript gadget that will streamline creation and maintenance of all item pages, the new gadget will offer a web form with drop down choices and or input boxes for entry lines that reduce inconsistency and make it <coughs> easier for anyone to add or update an item. Depending on how well the gadget works, I might be able to expand it into other templated things like quests, NPCs, not MPS, NPCs, monsters, hirelings, etc. And then if you have thoughts on that, that's a good place to put them. <coughs> so basically, what I'd like to do is if we take, oh, I don't know, let's find an item here. Machination of Madness. I would like to be able to hit the edit button and have each one of these table cells turn into either a drop down or a number up down or a um, input box where you can type in something um, so that you just like click on hardness, you hit the up arrow, the down arrow, you click on base value, you select a value. Um, binding would be like maybe a drop down, binds to character, click bind on acquire, little checkbox for if if it's a, um, exclusive or not, um, a drop down list for materials. Um, if it's an unknown material, then it would have a other at the bottom. And if you click on other, then the drop down list turns into an input box and you can type in something. And when you type in something, it gives me a notification on my talk page that there's an potential new material. Um, you can, on location, it might be, I don't know, I haven't decided exactly how location is going to work yet. It's probably going to be an input box with a little button at the end that says add another location, and you can add multiple locations, and then click on if it's a chest or if it's an end reward or what it is. Um, so I'd like to be able to streamline these item templates so that <clears throat> you click a few buttons once you hit edit and you select some stuff and then at the top or the bottom or maybe even just a floating button it just says um, either save changes preview discard changes or something like that I might even dump the preview button just do a, a save changes or discard um, uh, 
so we're having a debate on what a better programming language is in, in the chat here. Um, I would argue that um, writing in assembly is the, the, the best. There's no way to possibly get any better than writing in, you know, <coughs> writing in pure binary. Um, so you can write in pure binary. The computer will love you and you will be the best programmer as far as the computer is concerned. Um, and that's all I got to say about that. So, yes, that is my plan here. Um, I'd like to be able to just have all these be drop downs and check boxes and all that good stuff. <laughs> um, I'll even do a file picker for the images so you can just click and pick a file and all that good stuff. Um, C++ is good. I personally like Java because of its um, cross-platform compatibility and its garbage collection. Um, I like being able to write a program in Java and be able to use it on a Mac or a PC or a Android or a Unix-based system or pretty much anything you can find. Um, that's just my thought about it. Your dad uses Visual Studio. I do too. Um, I also use Notepad++. Um, when I'm writing C++, I like doing a Notepad++. C Sharp, <laughs> that's more web-based. It's good for IRC. It's for IRC bots. It's good for web applications. Um, it's not so great for writing games. Um, but that's just my opinion. So... Oh, fine. We're going to name off stuff. Let's just do it right. Let's do it in GW Basic. <laughs> Shoo, you are such a troll. All right, so let's see here. Eight forty-three. Um, Lion's Mane. Mushroom Cap. Epic Mushroom Cap. All right, let's see here. I don't know what to edit. Yeah, but Minecraft doesn't really run on Java. It's um, Lua. Well, I don't know, I guess. At least mods are, mods are made in, in Lua, some of them. Uh, I don't remember what the other term for that is. Um, but I remember. Brain is shot. So what should we edit today? Um, I have a lot of projects that I'd like to do. Many of them will take more than two or ten hours. Um, how about you guys? Anything that you'd like me to edit on the wiki? Any changes that you'd like me to make? Look army contains. Look at my contribs. <sighs> well, 
176 edits. You haven't contributed anything, Titan, since 6.38 this morning. <coughs> your edit count is six off. There's really no reason to update your edit count until you make the next tier. So between 100 and 250, there's no reason to edit your update count. Update, update your edit count. When you hit 250 something, or higher, then update it. And then when you hit 500 or higher, then update it. And then when you hit 1,000 or higher, then update it. In between, eh, every couple thousand or so. So after you hit 1,000, you'll do 2,500. You might do it every 500 then. So 1,500, 2,000, that kind of thing. And then once you hit 2,500, the next tier is 5,000. So, you know, you might still stay on the 500 every 500 or so. And then after 5,000 is 10,000, so maybe once 1,000. And the same forward up. Uh, oh, yes. Hmm. <clears throat> so, Shadow Kai male, Blade Forge male, Purple Dragon Knight male. <sighs> so, let me take a look at races. Maybe that's something we can update. We can get some images in there for that. Races. So we have Blade Forged, Sun Elf, Purple Dragon Knight, and Shatter Kai. Um, Blade Forge we can do. So. Let's edit this real quick, or maybe not real quick because it'll take a little while to navigate through, but we have character sheet character, edit, and then let's find the race section. Let's add some comments. Use wiki as an armory. I'm not sure what you mean. All right, so.
So Blade Forged is just shows up as Blade Forged Mail. What I'm going to do is create pages without uploading files. And I am going to copy this. And I am going to do an image redirect. I know there's a template for it. Ah, so now we've just got one click for more options because my thing that I did actually did work. I just had to wait for it to cache. preview I'm pretty sure that's not the name of the template for that template image redirect so if I open that up and I search for it <clears throat> see if I can't find it All right, so let's see here. How about if I look for... Category... Images. Let's start from there. I know I have a template for redirect images. Let's see if I can find it. It was something that I did to combat. So let's go to category images, image pop up. It might not be a template, it might be just a category that I manually added. Connection timed out, okay, there we go. Uh, DDO, naming policy, subcategories. Not in there. Oh, where did I put it? Well, let's take a look at special pages. List of files with duplicates. Need to wait for this page to finish loading. It's kind of spinning up there. Nope, he's not. Or I haven't heard from him yet. Duplicate files. Two wanted templates, huh? A double redirect. We should take a look at that. We can fix that real quick. Orion server to Orion to Orion. <sighs> to fix that. List of files. Four duplicates. Wanted templates. Taint of con, chaos, rune, arm, charge, rate. Yes, yeah, those need to be made.
fix our double redirect real quick. Redirected files, there we go. And if I pick one of those, So it's just okay. And then we're going to do the same thing for Blade Forge female because Blade Forge don't have gender. Yes, Titan. And now Titan has. Reload real quick. Now Titan has an image for Blade Forge male. Which Blade Forge don't have gender, so it doesn't matter. Um, Purple Dragon Knight male, we can do. I think that's a male. Shatter Kai, we can only do females. Okay, so we've got Purple Dragon Knight male I can do. And then we got Shatter Kai male. We can do Shatter Kai female.
And the last one is going to be Morning Lord. Female. There. So now if we go to Titan's page, we should have everything except Morning Lord Mail, I think. Oh, excuse me. How rude. Have a sip of my cold coffee. <laughs> Only 176 edits, Titan. You should get working on that. You've got... Oh, about 23,500 to go to catch up. There. Blade Forge Mail, Purple Dragon Knight Mail. Although I will have to modify that to not smash it all together in the template. I'll get to that later. Just improving it a little bit by adding some images. Shatterkai Mail. Do we have an icon for that? Um, where would I get that icon? This file is from a shared repository and may be used by other projects. But we don't have a shared repository. All right, so this is one that I'll have to redo. This is a little buggy. Redirect human. Why is it a redirect human? What happens if I move it to file humanmail.jpg? Yes, that's what I wanted to do. All right, well, it's a different error. So it still says it's on a shared repository. Um, all right, move it. <coughs> move it to X human mail.
Let's move it to XP human mail. And then delete this page. I can't. I might have to get Zebo to fix this. This is very strange. What if I go delete? Image. Permission error. I am a system operator. Oh. No, I'm on DDO stream. That's why. All right. Um, I understand now. I am not a system operator. Chop. Home. Let's go to Shoemaker. Let's see what happens when I move it on Shoemaker. which you can't see. All right. How about if I delete it? And then, what if I move X human mail back to human mail? All right, so that's not good. but still won't let me do it. All right, so that's interesting. It won't let, well, it let me delete the page, but the file itself, it's not deleting. Probably because there was no page to begin with and the file itself is what it is. Oh. Well, I can tag this for deletion. So I have a file here that I can't use. So I can tag it for instant delete reason cleanup don't watch this page can't you switch logging or have you done that oh switch cuts yeah I've already done that Titan it's because the file exists, but there was no page for it, so the wiki doesn't understand what's going on. It thinks it's on a shared repository, 
because these are all files that were copied over, copied over from EnterWiki, which has no longer no longer exists, hasn't existed for a long time. And why does template instant delete not exist? <sighs> Two flagged as delete. Let's take a look at delete. Uh, instant delete. Ah, okay. Edit, no capital D. Don't watch this. C E save. Good. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. Um, <coughs> recent changes. Come on, load up. Gosh, you're slow. I can't wait until I get my new internet set up properly. I'm not impressed with what I have so far. All right, so <laughs> oh, what do we got here? 9.15, we haven't taken our break yet. All right, I'm going to take a five-minute break, and when I get back, we'll figure out something to do. See you in a few.
Welcome back. How is everybody doing here? Add a little bit of music to this. <clears throat> so this is um, kind of loud in my ear. How loud is that for you guys? This is from DDO's very own um, gallery files. This is Turbine Surprise, it's T-Flanks. Kind of like the beat to this one. It's T-Flanks, yay! So, let's do some editing here. Recent changes. Is it a bit loud? I'll turn it down a little bit more. How's that? That better tighten? Oh, Strim Tom is editing. Vanguard enhancements. Let's take a look at what he did. Yay! Going to edit the wiki for a bit. <laughs> That's awesome. Best time to do it while Shoemaker is doing DDO wiki stream. Bugged. Currently provides no benefits. All right, Strim Tom. Let me teach you. Teach you the wiki. So when we're doing marking things as bugs. <coughs> what we do is... Let's see here. Where does it say bugged? Control find. B-U-G-G-E-D. There we go. So, for bugs, we do... We put it in a template. And what that does... Is... It makes sure that... The page here is in the category... For bugs. All right, so save page. <coughs> All right, so if we look at the bottom of the page here, you'll see that it's now in category game bugs, which is a category game bugs. See also official known in issues and category minor game bugs. Um, which are simple text graphical issues, minor gameplay bugs, with known workarounds. Um, the whole idea is that anything that has a bug attached to it shows up on this page, so you can say, you know, what has, what is bugged? Um, Grease is bugged. Alright, let's see what the bug for Grease is. Bug doesn't function per the, the description. Namely, the non-scaling fire damage. I think that's been fixed, but... I might see if I can get, um... Steel Star to go through it sometime this week, and... Or I might even go through the list of known bugs, and see if I can't trim some of these out. Um, I think some of them have been fixed, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, that's how we do bugs. That way they're all categorized and easy to find. Something that I plan on making easier to use in the future. Alright, so what else do we have? Anybody else have any suggestions? Oh, our music is over. Nope, wrong screen. Nope, wrong screen. There we go. So one thing that I don't like about doing the media files from the DDO's... Um, page here. Uh, that was surprises, tieflings. I like Cobalt Still Hates You. Cobalt Still Hates You! Cobalt Still Hates You! Cobalt Still Hates You! 
Kobold still hates you. I'm a double barrel Kobold. I'm a Kobold on the edge. Kobold still hates you. Kobold not even supposed to be here today. Kobold still hates you. Anything on the administrator's notice friend, board? But Kobold, no mule! Kobold still hates you! Kobold smell all! Kobold omnisniffing! Kobold still hates you! Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, So template what? quest, that's Kobold gonna be a huge update. You. Um, cause I'm, I, I tried to just Another sneak one? legendary really? in there. And it didn't take, it caused all kinds of issues, so I had to roll it back. Um, so, um... So I'm just gonna completely rewrite the templates. And then the other one that we got was... Elixir of Healing page looks particularly ugly. Ah. Missing a line break there. And Zav fixed it. Oh, that's right. I forgot. We got Strim Tom. He makes number eight. Now we only need seven more attendees in the next 30 minutes. I don't know, it's gonna be tough. I don't even think we're gonna get to 10. I might have to do some more advertising next week. If we don't roll it off this week, Titan, I won't have a <coughs> mod restriction next week either. That's a project I wanted to add. Let's go back here. Let's see here. I wish there was a long one that I could pick. They all seem to be really, really short. Now, three minutes, I guess that's a good start. Uh, I want to make it. Gadget for that too, I think. Make it one click add, pick a page. I don't think there's been any update on projects. I know. I'm so nice. Everybody loves the shoe. So, this actually needs to be cleaned up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
January, uh, I'm going to use, no, not on the 15th, on the 5th, I'm going to use the long date format, the um, European date format. And because I forgot to do an edit section, I'm gonna do it that way. Out market or inspired quarter. Let's do another one. Let's see here. That's turbine party crashers. <coughs> hmm. About three barrel cove three. Let's see here, user preferences. <coughs> Apparently, nobody signed that. And I'm guessing it was one of my posts. So, let's look at the history here. Looks like I screwed up on that one. Oh 
maybe it was Agonshar. That's the one below it. So I need user preferences. So that was me on October 20th, 2014. It's been sitting there for a while without a signature. <coughs> Where does that go? You want to make an edit to the Nature's Warrior Enhancement Fatal Harrier. It is an enhancement bonus. Should I add that in the description or at the end? Um, isn't everything assumed to be an enhancement bonus unless it's otherwise stated? That's Three Barrel Cove. Let's go back here. Shandy One. There we go. <coughs> 1316. Is that UTC? Fatal Harrier is an enhancement bonus. Oh, well, it could probably be removed from Wind Stance and Haste, because it should be assumed to be enhancement unless it's specifically stated otherwise. You could add it, um, add it at the end of the description, maybe? I'm afraid that if we start adding bonus type to everything, most of them will be enhancements, so it would be redundant and somebody would complain that it's redundant. Personally, the more information the better, as long as it doesn't make it look, look bad, but... Nature's Warrior is an enhancement, so it would be an enhancement bonus. It's not a feat. Fatal Harrier isn't a feat. Wind Stance... I don't know much about Monk, so I'm guessing that is a feat. Haste is a spell, which spells always give enhancement bonuses unless otherwise stated.
I don't know if 1.16 is my local time or... So what it is, it's my local time. Okay, cool. Um, in October, that would be minus 5, so plus 5 is 1816. Health, spell points, ability, double strike, double shot bonuses from enhancement trees <laughs> are all feet. <laughs> I don't know. Um, feel free to add it to the description. I don't think anybody's going to complain. And if they do, they'll have to answer to me. Oh, goody. Somebody tagged me in a post. <laughs> All right, so... I would think that if it stacks, then you would label it, and if it doesn't stack, then you wouldn't. But I do things backwards. I'm French, so... Why are you scared, Daniela? That's Turbine Shanty 1. Let's do Party Crashes again. See here, one was Aginchar last active. December 4th. I guess he's been kind of active, he just hasn't really done a lot. They're very sporadic. hasn't updated his talk page since April, June of 2014. It's technically still December, so... Actually, I want to make sure you'd have to answer to me. <laughs> Indeed. 
Let's actually just go to his talk page, his raw talk page. Um, Danny. What was I going to say? Oh, are you still planning on working on... Green steel items. Character sheet. In development. All right, so we'll send him a message. Put your dukes up. <clears throat> Let's see here. Score out a pipe. All right, so so four is the user project I can char project I can char. So that doesn't have an IP next. IP, ICUP, ICUP, ICOP. There. <coughs> oh. 
item description template. It could be you. Hmm, what does that look like? We need some more music, don't we? Party crashers. <laughs> Strange. Me and my monk shirt, my DDO sweatshirt, hoodie. It's pretty cool gear. You should get you some. So that's section five. Let's take a look at section six. There we go. That one's taken, that one's taken, that one's not. Actually, I shouldn't need to do that. I should just have it set up so that project template. All right, it's protect. it's fully protected so I can't edit it. but technical 13 can. And why isn't, all right, so let's do three barrel code five, I guess. That's really short. there with Shoemaker that you couldn't see. Oh, let's just hit read. Ah, it could be you. It could be you. That's better. I might make a, t a gadget for this one too where you can just like click to claim and it will automatically fill your name in. That one was really short. Uh, let's see what number three sounds like. Recent changes, all right, so we got four minutes left. I don't think we're gonna make what we need in order to roll for our starter pack this week. We needed 15, we only got 8. So, unless we get a bunch of people in the last 3 minutes, I'm going to have this starter pack carry over to next week. I'm also going to carry over the no mod restriction. Um, I may <clears throat> require more people next week. I know, we didn't even get... 10 this week, and I'm going to ask for 20 next week. Um, it will depend on if I get up early enough to get on a few servers and advertise. Um, if I do, then it'll be 20. If I don't, then it'll be 10. So, it says we have 17 viewers, so if we just had, you know, a few more people talk.
I'm gonna give everybody a few more minutes. Let's see here. 108, 233, confirmed. No, nope, Yoko's at editing. A couple edits to the active legendary green steel page. Which this didn't load completely. Ah, there we go. Good morning, Rodriguez. That gives us nine. Anybody else in there? <clears throat> you can add anything that you like, Strim. Wow, two big changes. Hey, Pedor, let's add you to the list here. That gives us 10. There's a bug with LR right now. Do several in a row and it gives you extra XP, huh? Sounds like an exploit. Um, oh, I know that most of the devs watch this show, so that should probably get fixed fairly soon. If I was to guess. So, uh, <coughs> it looks like pretty much the entire page has been redone. That's awesome. So, Oh, so it's not just Featherfall, it's Featherfall and Deflect Arrows. Lesser Reincarnation. A list of all the recipes. I'm sure he'll be adding some more details to that shortly. Might need to modify that a little bit. How much extra? Confirmed here that he has DR piercing good, just like regular Rock Sasha's. So if I take post number 575-1373, DR of we don't know, Pierce and good. And we do verified. And we're a minute over, but that's okay. I'm not going to sweat it. Um, actually, if I take this verified and stick it on the end, and I do forums p equals show preview, should give verified. No, nope, that's not what I want. Ref. DDO forums, that's good. Ref just puts it in square brackets and moves it up. So, 
So if they're watching the stream, they now know how to verify something, reference it to the game, to the forums. And then that <coughs> and that gets us <coughs> yeah, silly coughs. And that gets us to the end of our stream. Um, we only had 10 people out of 15. <sighs> All right. I'm going to let it slide this time. Let's do this. Let's go with... Let's move this over here for a minute. We have... Sarlona Sinoc. Titan 2014-19, Amaref, Gary 782, and Mx, Danny, M A Q U I S T, Strim Tom. R C G O D I N E Z Pador. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give away this prize this week. Ten people needed. Cut. Paste. Cut. Paste, cut, paste, cut, paste, cut, paste, cut, paste, cut, paste, cut, paste. Cut, paste, cut, close, no, close, paste. All right, so is there anybody else? Last chance to get in for the roll. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to have a sip of my coffee <clears throat> while I wait for... I'm watching the stream on my phone. When I see that we hit a full list here, then I will roll. Last chance to be entered. Closing the sheet. And I think we're ready to roll. And our winner this week is Strimtom. cramps in my in my back
Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. We're gonna re-roll, or is Danny gonna take a take a prize? I'm gonna sip my coffee and wait a minute. Danny even still here? Should be. Ah, sending a PM to Cordovan, so might be not watching. I guess Danny's gonna take her prize, or his prize. Oh, nope, reroll, don't need want. Okay, so. Amorif's not here anymore. Cough there. Well, they didn't defer, so they are the winner. So there's our winner. Everybody have a great week. I will see you next week. Same bat, same shoe time, same shoe channel. Um, have a good week, everybody.